The hardest skill in Apex Legends to master isn't aim, it isn't movement, in my opinion it's game IQ, knowing where to position and when, and not only that, you have to make the right decisions in the most tense moments, and if you make a decision too late, even if it is the right decision, it could cost you the game. But the only way to learn to make the right decisions is, well, to make the wrong decisions and actually learn from it. And today that is exactly what we do, let me take you on a journey through my thought process in the the average ranked game and how I use that to improve my own game sense because just like you the only way I can get better is to keep trying and make sure I keep a level head and admit when I make the wrong plays. So today's game starts like none other. Recently I've loved landing Big Maud. It's amazing loot, it often has maybe a squad or two but you've got enough space to loot before you start fighting. This is perfect for securing that early game RP and then you can spend time looting the rampart weapons and you're basically sorted for the rest of the game besides maybe some meds. As we started leaving, we got pushed by a squad rotating from Geyser, but they weren't much work for Sheila. Alright, I do. Hang on a sec, I'll help you out in a second. What are you doing, buddy? Strange maneuver, not gonna lie. So now it's time to think about rotating. With the current ring pretty much centre of the map, there's no need for us to push too far into the ring, so Lava Siphon was a good spot. It's usually still got fights going on or people rotating through it, so it's great for more kill RP. Now we didn't need that, but you know, it felt like a pretty easy lobby and we had some good teammates, so we went for it. Oh, oh there's. There's. Door, 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 door. Well, they got more friends. Okay, not taking that. Hold up, let's just chill a second, shall we? Hold up, dude. Yeah, okay. Need bats, man. One left. I'm rising. Uh, on me. Pop yeah. So do five. It's on the roof. Nice job. Oh, I think it's time we go like this. We cleared up that first squad and the ring was still pulling here so I thought it would be good to hold high and just hold this position for potentially the rest of the game. So that's what we did. If players were to push us and it was just one team, I felt confident to take the fight to them and then regain height later because we had a seer that was pretty talkative so it was unlikely we'd get third partied. I'm gonna drop down. Cracked one, knocked one. Nice. She went down here somewhere. Check out this way. Enemy eliminated. Charging my shields. Uh I'm taking fire. Nice job. Nice. At this point, the ring was still pulling into Lava Siphon, so really, all we had to do was hold our ground. Not a problem for Rampart either. But this is where things started to go wrong. We started to feel the pressure from nearby squads, so I decided to drop down and call that to my team. Let's get inside. But little did I know at the time this would cost us the game. The thing is, whilst we're mowing through squads and racking up kills, we already had plenty of kill points, so it wasn't that necessary. And the biggest problem is our nice view of the area right on top of the lava siphon building was taken from us immediately after we dropped down. Not only that, but by dropping down, we actually lost a teammate. On the roof crack, nice dude. I'm taking help. Uh, what should I 
Oh dear, I messed up big time, dude. One here. Nice, nice job, guys. Wow, they're really good. They're like really on high. Ah. Oh. I'm cover for you, mates. Oh dear. I'm just gonna hold this angle in case they get pushed. Oh no, dude. Hold out a little second, guys. It's just a solo or what? I'm only seeing one dude shoot. Now it's that question. Jeez, okay. So with a team above taking high and two other teams still around, we had a difficult situation. There was really nowhere for us to go. So we had to just wait and hope that fights happened that we could initiate on. We managed to take down one solo, which put us into top three, but the situation became clear to me. We'd have to leave the building soon, and the team above would have height on us, and, well, height on everybody else. Unlike me, they were patient enough to stay there and wait until the final moment. I don't know how we can contest that, really. At this moment, I could have complained that my teammate went off and died. I could have complained that we weren't sticking together. Or I could have complained that my teammate just didn't do enough damage, but none of that was really true. At the end of the day, we lost this game because I made a bad positioning mistake and I called it for everyone to follow me. So, at this point, I had to just make the initiative to push towards the only cover that had some kind of protection against all the teams and hope that it could keep us going to the last second. Oh, I tried my best. So hey, we learned something there, but there are so many small positioning mistakes and errors that can only be fixed by just playing and making the mistake. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and we can all learn together. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!